profile is pretty easy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah? So yeah, as, uh, these guys know that format now. So yeah. yeah, give Tom a shout. Any questions you want, and we'll do our very best. He's to right over them. there. So I'll tell him to keep looking at the computer, and <laughs> having a look at all your questions. Right? Should we go first into the playlist then? Yes, let's take a let's look. Let's do it. All right. Arguably one of the biggest features of the game. I think this is the, the draw back in every single month is what's the new playlist? That's right. This is what keeps people busy week after week. <laughs> so uh, top level prizes, I guess, first ones to call out. We've got the 50% uh, for the whole playlist gets you the McLaren 600 LT. 80% gets you the Ferrari 250 Testarossa. But that's not that interesting because what people want to hear about is <laughs> yeah, this new one here. Them. So 50% <laughs> in summer gets you the brand new car to the game, the McLaren Speedtail. Uh, I'm sure chat's already going wild for that. So <laughs> guys, you can we'll take a about, closer look at that later. 80% gets you another McLaren, the 720S Spider. Uh, and then just ticking through here, we'll see what else there is. So there's another chance for the Hoonigan RS200, the uh, 2018 Honda Civic. And up here, you've got the Plymouth Fury and the BMW Z4. Nice. Hopping into autumn, you've got the Forza Edition TVR Cigaris 50% and the uh, Lamborghini Diablo GTR for 80%. Um, you can get another chance at that Mercedes-Benz X-Class, the Chevy Impala 96, the AMC Rebel and everyone's favourite, the 2009 <laughs> That's my baby, Vauxhall that is. Corsa. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is a very, very heavily Classic. requested car. Um, <laughs> really it, overshadowed, British, yeah. yeah, yeah, really at risk of overshadowing <laughs> this other classic British car, which is the brand new add to the game, the Napier Railton. A very exciting car, which we'll take a closer look at a little bit later mm -hmm. on. Jumping forward into winter, we have another brand new car to Forza Horizon 4. It's the Toyota 2000 GT. Very exciting, very beautiful car. We'll take a closer look and have a drive around in that one shortly. Uh, for 80%, you can get the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. And then we'll just quickly check through here what else we got. So there is the Mini Countryman, the DS3 Racing, and the, oof, the BMW oof. M3 GTR. <laughs> um, and then just the rounding off. Official title is the Oof BMW. <laughs> uh, rounding off in spring, we've got uh, the Koenigsegg One, the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale, uh, one of the fastest cars in the game with the right mm -hmm. upgrades. Um, oh, that's a tip. The uh, Mercedes Benz GT4, uh, one of Andy's favourites, the 94 yep. Honda Prelude. <laughs> um, and the, um, Why uh, is that one of your favourites, can I ask? Uh, because it's. 90s Japanese and just or? just a little bit rubbish. Okay, so it's a little great. bit rubbish. Yeah. It's got to keep you grounded. I like, I like its potential. <laughs> and, um, and well, another chance of that Hoonigan Fiesta, which you know is a popular car, so worth grabbing that if you can. Um, we're going to take a look at a showcase remix in just a bit, but one mm -hmm. that we're not going to look at is this guy here, which is a okay. returning one, Supersonic versus Super Fast. We did this one about four or five months ago, I think, but another chance to do that one if you missed it first time around. It's a really, really great uh, showcase, actually, a really, really fun one. Mm -hmm. uh, and one last piece of the festival playlist we'll call out is a monthly Rivals event, uh, sticking you in the McLaren Speedtail, mm -hmm. a car we'll be hearing much more about during the rest of this stream. Um, but a, a really, really fun uh, monthly Rivals event, one where just getting that clean lap can be Quite tricky yeah, clean lap. How fast. dare you? <laughs> <laughs> You've met me. That's never going to happen. Surely not. We'll try. Can I do it? Can I do it really slow on like uh, two miles per hour or something? You can do it two miles an hour if you want. All you have to do is not okay. crash and you'll post a clean time and you'll complete that challenge. Um, <laughs> there, there is a little bit of a game that some people play where mm -hmm. at the very at the start of the month they'll go and post an extremely slow lap, like an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, and then an they'll come, hour? And then they will come back <laughs> at the end of the month and post like an impeccable lap. Sure. And then everybody who's above them in the leaderboard gets a message to notify them that they've oh, been I beaten. Like, that's showboating to yeah, the extreme. Yeah, I love just, that. Just promoting yourself into other people's yeah. uh, horizon it's inboxes. A lot of self faith there as well, that you can pull that last yeah. minute lap off as well. And, uh, yeah. You don't want just two people to get the notification, you want yeah. everyone to know that you did okay. it. So, what's that? I think we're going to go what through happened? the new story. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, the, uh, the much teased, uh, much much alluded to uh, mm -hmm. Express Delivery Horizon mm -hmm. Story. Um, so yeah, this is one that we've been, we've been really excited about for quite a long time. It's quite a, quite a, quite a fun story. Sure. Um, it's, a, it's a Horizon business, so okay. there's... Um, More money to be made. Exactly. Love so that. the player can purchase this business or at least invest in this business. Sure. Um, and then the more they perform in there, the more that they earn back. So it's a, a little bit like Dragon's Den or Shark Tank if you're watching in the US, <laughs> except with more fast cars and dangerous driving. Love that. And we have a new character as well, don't we? Do, we? we do. We um, do. Much loved within the studio. Um, yes, he's uh, his name is Billy Stokes, mm -hmm. uh, voiced by British acting legend Luke Allen Gale. Mm -hmm. um, you, you may know yeah, him from uh, an episode of Death in Paradise <laughs> and at least one episode of Midsummer Murders. Um, 
but but this is it. This is it. this is okay. break, this is going to be his breakout performance. I think he actually does actually turn in a really good performance. Absolutely. This is very funny. Um, so people may have spotted this in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. There's like uh, some boxes out here. There's uh, some some van some van decals on the side yeah. of this building because this is the uh, the hub of express delivery. So we'll jump in and check it out. And we got six chapters in here, but we're specifically going to be doing two and six. Yes, aren't there, we? there are not, there's nine chapters. Oh, there's nine! nine. Oh, we yes, didn't yes, scroll early, and I thought problem. there was six. Yes. So. Right, okay, <laughs> there's a bit more than six then. There's actually nine. Happy to confirm <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a very generous year, so we're just growing, yeah, exactly. growing the amount of content that we've yeah. done for our fans. We just made three in between earlier and now. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm going to call out, this one's called a box of ducks. Yeah, yeah. What, what are we going to be delivering in this level? Uh, yeah, we will be delivering a box of ducks. So, in the back of our um, GMT, GMT, GMT van here, yeah. there is a, a box of... Uh, <coughs> You know, li live ducks need mm -hmm. to be delivered to their new home. Sure, um, yeah. And these are ducks that are not on their way to get, meet a grizzly end. These are ducks that are, <laughs> are going to a new, a new, a new happy owner, and therefore we need to get them there in good shape. Yes. We need to, we need to, they need to not get hurt Minimal or damaged. Minimal damage. On the way. So, and whenever you do damage them, um, you, or whenever you do damage them or you drive in a particularly dangerous way, mm -hmm. you, might, you might just hear those ducks quacking away in the back of the van. Are you going to um, drive in a dangerous way so we can hear that or are you going to do, do your best? best. I'll do my, well, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to fail. <laughs> I'm conscious of that damage bar. Uh, oh, is, is oh, no. uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, it's okay. It's well, okay. It's nah, right. just a bin. That's fine. Yeah, we can take, we can take the occasional bin hit. Minimal that tram bin. really uh, messed me up though. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of there being like future lore in the Horizon series of like a bloke walking down the street just holding a duck and it'd be <laughs> that guy you were delivering yeah, to. Yeah. And there's no other words, he doesn't even have a name, you just you might catch him through Edinburgh just holding a duck. Or if Big Mike's hand. unsuccessful, a very sad looking man without yeah, any ducks. No ducks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just an empty box walking around really forlorn with my ducks. <laughs> and it's a tricky route as well, they're whipping you around here. Yeah, he's got pretty, it uh, I will say you've done better than you did before. <laughs> I know I've not, I've not taken hardly any damage. Just, I've, I've, not I've not injected any any drama into this whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice. You got to, you got to park it or is it a zoom through? No, this is a park it because we're going it. to this house here. There we go. They there are we the go. Duck people. And fun fact, we will come on to this a little bit later into the show. But there's actually an achievement for doing this with three stars as well, which you would have just unlocked. If we hadn't already done it earlier. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, well, so, <laughs> yeah. magic. Well, right, lovely. Good from job. Thank from you. season nine, series 19 cars into 20, we have got three that we need to check out, don't we? Yes, yep, we do. Good segue. Yes. Uh, yep, Thank yep, you. Yep. I'm so <laughs> good at these segues, um, huh? As, as always, um, we like to do it in like the most hyped order, so the ones that the community have been calling for the most. Sure. <clears throat> so let's jump straight in to the Napier Railton. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the car that is. Probably the least hyped in that order, but should be the most hyped be because it is hyped. super, super interesting oh, look at it. and Come super on. cool. Yeah, incredible to listen to. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a really unique car. It is a one of one. There's mm -hmm. only one in the world, only and one. Wow. it still lives in the place that it was born uh -huh. uh, in Brooklands in the UK. So uh, this is a car. Uh, I think it's from 1933, uh, oh. called the Napier Railton. <laughs> Uh, so called because it has a Napier aeroplane engine, and as you can hear, the guy that designed it, his uh -huh. surname was Railton. Oh, well, so, there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is from a time uh, between the two world wars when uh, people were just trying to go as fast as possible for fun, and mm -hmm. the like the main way of doing that was basically to stick the biggest engine that you could find on, on uh, four wheels, yeah, on four wheels with a sort of really <laughs> rudimentary ladder chassis and, and go for it. Sure. And Brooklands in the UK was uh, one of the best places to do that. So mm -hmm. it's uh, the outer oval circuit was a very famous uh, place to do so. And this car is uh, still the record holder for the fastest ever lap around the Brooklands oval. Uh, I think it was 145 so mile no an hour. One challenged average, it, I think it was. Uh, <laughs> it just went no. It was challenged, and then unfortunately, Brooklyn's is no more as a circuit anymore. Oh, I so see. that record will forever stand. That's one good way to hold a record. It isn't is, it? yeah. Just so shut it, makes it sure down no after you've been back. in there. It's yeah. Point, it? it's like a bit <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Like, uh, industrial park. It is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's a really uh, a unique car. Uh, 
it's got, like we say, it's got this uh, W12 engine, so it sounds really, really different. Mm -hmm. Because it's like the airplane-based engine, it's like sort of really uh, like low revving, and it's got a really unique sound to it. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. Yeah. Let's, do, let's do just that. Can you get faster than that, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. I Thankfully, do not believe you. there has been quite a lot of progress in the last eight years. Since eight 1933. Years. That's it. Yeah, and, uh, oh, and you can now do uh, a much greater speed in much greater comfort, <laughs> uh -huh. but with uh, still with an incredible design, right? So this yeah. is uh, McLaren Speed Tail. Yeah, so, so called because it has a big tail and yeah. it is very speedy. It's speedy. There you go, yeah. right? Yeah. And, so, yeah, Mike, Mike was on the naming board for that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah so uh, this is uh, McLaren's latest and greatest road car. Uh, the latest one, huh? Yeah, yeah. 25 years ago, they released their first one, the McLaren F1. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 250 mile an hour road car uh, with a really unique feature. You sat in the middle of it, Ooh. and it was oh, a yes, three-seater. And uh, this has brought that back, the speed tail. So you're, you're back oh. in the middle of it there with a, a passenger seat on either side of you. Uh -huh. You've got uh, an interesting little feature. You've got the rear view cameras instead of rear view mirrors. So they've really, sure. really, that's, <laughs> they, they've really gone to town on the aerodynamic yeah, stuff, as you can up. see. Mm. Yeah, so uh, wing mirrors stick out too much. They're mm -hmm. not aerodynamic, so that's a, a better way in. of doing that. Um, that makes sense, actually. One of my favourite features of this, uh, a lot of modern cars have sort of track buttons or mm -hmm. like sport modes or things like that. This car has a velocity button. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> just so press it. Velocity. It, it goes to um, show just, you know, it's that yep. pure, made, made for <laughs> pure speed. And going in a straight line, yeah, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes. Camera coming up. So well, the uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> make, make sure that you're doing 60 there, Mike. Yeah. Um, what sort of speeds can this clock? So this this car tops out 250 mile an hour. I'm pretty sure that that is uh, a limiter that they've put on it, and it would go faster. But really. But going over 250 mile an hour is really really expensive. Oh, you, okay. you have to start thinking uh, about bespoke tyres because normal, like even the sort of highest high grade road tyres can't mm -hmm. take it. And you know all the additional testing that you have to do to make sure that that car is, you know, is going to be safe sure, and sturdy. Yeah. And this, I mean, you can look at the, the body of it. You can see it's been styled with the aerodynamics oh, in mind of going yeah. as fast as possible. It hasn't got bits sticking off of it anywhere. It's that like bar of soap style, <laughs> you know, like as slippery as possible. What's the deal with the front wheels? Uh, yeah, they've got uh, wheel covers over them to make them even more aerodynamic. Wow. That's, uh, that's a, a point, of, yeah, of point of turbulence, so that they've got rid of that. Oh, oh my, sorry. Right, that oh, was just God. unfair. <laughs> yeah. Just reminding them that you're in a McLaren. <laughs> ruined their camping holiday there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, over a 1,000 horsepower. Uh, it is uh, technically a hybrid, so it's got some uh, electronic assistance with it. Uh, the rear of the bodywork is actually uh, like one piece that sort of bends upwards okay. when you get to speed which is a really cool aerodynamic point on it. Uh, yeah, it is, I think it's a, it's a really, really cool looking car and it's a sort of a breath of fresh air that they, they did it just to make a cool, you know, amazing looking 250 mile an hour car, not to be the yeah, biggest, the fastest, car, the best. Just the look of it alone screams, this will go fast. Exactly. This car was designed just to be fast. That's it, they, they haven't, you know, muddied the formula up at all. They've just mm -hmm. done what they wanted to do and it's got one purpose and it does it really, really well. <laughs> so. um, shall we, uh, how much will one of these cost? Uh, I, actually, I don't know how much it costs. Uh, more than you can afford, pal, is the line. <laughs> that is uh, Isn't that really <laughs> nice compliment as well? well right. It's, it's definitely true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. And then how fast what can, about... you, can you do the 250? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get to the speed trap at 250. There is that kind of tricky little bend here. But, um, nearly and you'll there. get 250 before it. Good there job. It is. There you go. And this is just the stock in the game as well, so obviously yeah. you'll be able to tinker with it to get it a bit faster too. I mean, how much better can you make it? It's already pretty <laughs> well, incredible, right? To leave that to for is. the community to find out, I suppose. Oh, I'm sure, give them like a day and they'll be on, I don't know, 400 or something ridiculous. <laughs> Broken the land oh, speed. Oh. <laughs> 250 Boom. to zero. Yeah, there you go. And Thank, then you're going to cross it at 50. Oh. <laughs> just just uh, a reminder, we do have a rewind feature. Stars. <laughs> just uh, in case anyone have a question whether this really does go out live. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we move on to the next one? Yeah. Right. Which I'm hoping is just as speedy. 
Super speedy. It looks super awesome, sleek. Right? Yeah, okay. We'll so, of course, we have uh, Toyota returning to us mm -hmm. over the last few series. We've been doing our best to give you as many Toyotas back as possible. And uh, this is the latest one, the 2000 GT. Uh, is well, it was Japan's halo car for okay. a long time. So Toyota wanted a car, you know, to sit right at the very top of their roster, and uh, and this is what they came up with. And it's uh, it's you not can bad, see, is it? Yeah, so you can see mm. it came out at the time of uh, cars like the Jaguar E Type, and you can definitely see that sort of uh, that influence. style yeah. influence in it. Yeah, uh, yes, it's a really cool, really special car. They only made 351 in total mm. and, uh, and we've got one of them right yeah, here <laughs> apparently that was a pretty good job because they weren't exactly making any money on them so okay. if they plan to make if they actually made as many as they plan to make they probably would have been in a bit of a financial mess wow but uh yeah they stayed as special as they are and if you did choose an e-type over one of these in a day mm -hmm you'd be kicking yourself now really? because these are worth so, so much more. So if there's anyone at home with these just under a sheet in a garage not knowing how I much mean, they're worth, I don't know switch how many off of them. the stream <laughs> and go. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to know how many are like, unaccounted for. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's also, uh, it was in a Bond film as well, yeah. we, we mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember which one it was. I mean, uh, I, Tom, I've not watched any of twice. the Bond there films, but this car screams Bond, just look at yeah. it. Yeah. Like they made it to be one. That's it. Yeah, exactly. um, Just imagine Connery sat in there. Yeah, <laughs> they, suave. they made the special ones. Uh, think, Walnut Dash. Pretty sure there was yeah. two of them that were made that were convertibles for the film, and uh, I'm pretty sure that was because he didn't. He was fit. a big boy. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't he was gonna quite fit. tall. Yeah, so uh, that's my dream going to drive one as well. You know, I probably <laughs> wouldn't fit in it either. Uh, never mind. But yeah, like we've gone from. 24 litre engine in the Napier Railton. Mm -hmm. This is a two litre engine. Aww. So uh, yeah, you can imagine uh, that, that's quite a big difference, but it is, it's so, still... It's much more, much more refined, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I feel like if I was sat in this, I, I would still be able to hear other things oh. once I got out of yep. it. Whereas the Railton, I think I would only be hearing the Railton yeah. for <laughs> about a week <laughs> afterwards, yeah. They would tinnitus, it would just follow you around everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful sounding car. It's a straight six, uh, it's got three uh, double barrel carbs on it. Oh, and, and there goes the lights. Yeah, the lovely pop-up lights as well. We, we love pop-up lights, they yeah. give give the car a happy little face. Yeah. That is, uh, that is de definitely the best thing about Pop-Up It's like it's blushing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, this, was, this was the first venture um, Toyota and Yamaha joined forces to make that engine and it's, uh, yeah, it's a really sort of iconic mm. uh, like sounding and a really great performing engine as well. Like, it was 150 horsepower from a two litre engine which is pretty good going for its day and it still made 133 mile an hour. Okay. Which when, when you think that uh, the Napier Railton we were looking at was 170 mile an hour, yeah. and then like 30 years later they're doing, 100, really? you know, 133 with that much less engine and about the a quarter, is about if quarter you of the weight. Yeah, uh, tiny uh, <laughs> weight. But yeah, all, all packed in that tiny little car. So uh, it's, uh, oh, it's a it's lovely very impressive. thing. It's very uh, impressive. It's a really special car to have. And it looks like the perfect, like, if you want to have, like, a pacifist run, I'll call it, in, in the game. You just want to drive around Sunday yeah. drive mode and have a look. This mm. fits in perfectly. It does. Yeah, it's a great shout. Yeah. Uh, that is my, uh, my preferred way to enjoy Horizon yeah. 4 these days. It's I'm just, not engaging with the races. It's just get in a car and just drive. <laughs> go, like, check out, check out this beautiful, beautiful seasonal Britain, as we like to call That's it in it. our marketing materials. I tried to but, teach someone <coughs> to drive on this game, you know? Someone who has no idea how to drive, and yeah. they were terrible. They crashed into me at a roundabout and I lost it. I was so angry. <laughs> were they using yeah. a wheel? Uh, yes, we were both using a wheel. Okay. Yeah, and they blamed the person in front and they said they were checking their wing mirrors, but I don't <laughs> think they were. And we now know that you're a road rager as well, which is going to be great yes. for a lemon Q&A. So. Which, <laughs> talking about excellent segues, shall we? we? Yeah. Let's do that. Right.